This year, in 2011, will be the 192nd anniversary of the Peterloo Massacre, which happened pretty much where we stood right here now. A lot of people will have a sort of vague idea, they'll have heard of it, but without really knowing the details. So, can you tell us exactly what happened here? A uh, bullet point version of what happened here in 1819 is 60,000 people who were pro-democracy, uh, peaceful people, men, women and children, dressed, men, women and children dressed in a Sunday best came from surrounding mill towns like Rochdale, Oldham, Middleton, Blakely, Salford, Trumpton, uh, all converged in St. Peter's Fields, which as we said is roughly around this area and around where the GMEX is, this neck of the woods, and they all came to protest because 2% of the population at the time had the vote. Uh, so they also would try to repeal the Corn Laws at the time, which was effectively like living in communist Russia. You know, the mill workers couldn't afford bread, uh, couldn't afford to eat, so they were living in harsh conditions uh, and they wanted democracy. And we're still fighting for it to this day, nearly 200 years later. So it's called the uh, St. Peterloo Massacre, so clearly something went awry. <laughs> it, was, it was known as the, the Peterloo Massacre uh, because Waterloo was four years before and the, uh, yeoman, the magistrates ordered the yeomanry of the guard uh, to read the riot act to the people and they did that, they tried to arrest the, the talkers on the day and uh, when, when, when they read the riot act and there is rumours that several of the yeomanry of the guard were drunk at the time they just charged 60,000 people uh, on horseback with sabres and 15, 16, 17, 18 depending on which reports you read uh, people were killed and hundreds were injured um, so it's a, it's a bad day for Manchester in that respect did anything good ever come of it? Democracy, allegedly, was, uh, you know, I personally believe that there are, democracy is a myth, as is the monetary system, as is politics in general. But, you know, we do have, we do live in a democracy of sorts, and without Peterloo, we wouldn't be stood here today. So, what's the plan today? Uh, are you just trying to let people know what occurred? Uh, I think that it's been whitewashed from history, really, and airbrushed, as the fire says. Uh, people aren't aware of this. Uh, you know, let's ask some people as they're walking by. Are you aware of Peterloo? Do you know what Peterloo was? Let's ask this lady just for fun. Have you heard of Peterloo, madam? No? Well, that'll do. There you go. That lady hadn't heard of Peterloo. So there's a good one. Uh, most people aren't aware of it. There is a plaque on what, what was the Free Trade Hall, it's now a hotel, a five-star hotel I might add. That, that building was built as a, as a monument to the people of Peterloo and is now a five-star hotel. If that doesn't, if that's an, an indication of what exactly is wrong with the world right now, then I don't know what is. Um, but there is a plaque on there, it was a blue plaque but the Peterloo Memorial Campaign uh, petitioned and made the council change it to a red plaque and honour the dead, basically, you know, mention the dead people, that people did die there and give a bit more detail on the subject. So it's an educational thing. Every year we do the anniversary. Uh, there's a march that was on Sunday and every year, you know, there is a march through the city centre culminating in the GMEX where people talk, people read poetry, people sing songs, there's music and they usually read the names of the dead, those who died at the massacre. An interesting point is the fact that the first victim of the Peterloo massacre was actually a two-year-old child who, when I was in the People's History Museum recently, I realised the child was in the mother's arms and as the horse charged past, knocked the child out of the mother's arms. So you can imagine the horror of that happening. Right, well, uh, thank you for letting me turn the tables on you, Keith, and I'll uh, let you go and do your usual thing. No problem, no problem.